Hey guys, this is J19, brought to you with another video, and my goodness, it's been a while. I've been, I had a crazy f last few days, so I couldn't get around to record anything, and we got a whole bunch of stuff that's going on. Um, I'm going to try my best to remember exactly what happened, but anyways, here goes. First thing I, I want to say is uh, Square Enix had posted on their Twitter um, that the upcoming Tokyo Game Show that they're going to showcase a few games. I highlighted a few of them. But there's a few slots. Oh, it's like three or four slots. Maybe just, just a select handful. But uh, it says coming soon. Um, a lot of speculations going around is it could be Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2. The second game in the franchise, the series. Or it could be Final Fantasy 16. My, my gut feeling is it's going to be... It's going to be Final Fantasy 16. Since Square Enix just got into full development with Final Fantasy 7 Remake Part 2, I don't think they're going to have anything to really showcase. I mean, they can showcase like a teaser trailer and have like, you know, a narrator show up, you know, talk, you know, over the scenery. But I, don't th I think it's too soon. I think, for me personally, it's going to be Final Fantasy 16 Because earlier, a few days ago, or yesterday, or wherever it was, um, there was a account created on Twitter, and it said Final Fantasy 16 on it. And if you go to try, like, uh, like, rec uh, I forgot the word. Um, find, like, like, try to find like uh like trying to find the account like say you lost your password or something um it says on there like it has a like, you know asterisk or whatever it was and they it's all blurred out like the email but a lot of people have like done done some things and they figured out that it's actually spells out square enix with a dash in it um square enix.com so i seen Websites like that have been created, like for example, Fable, came true. X, uh, Microsoft showcased a trailer, a teaser trailer for Fable for Xbox Series X and PC. Um, it could do the same with, thing with Square Enix with Final Fantasy 16. Like I said, uh, a lot of rumors and speculations going around with Final Fantasy 16. Um, I think. That's probably going to be it. I don't think part two of Final Fantasy VII Remake is going to be announced anytime soon. Um, if we do, it's going to probably be a, like Game Awards or something. It's going to be probably towards the end of the month, end of the year, or it could be next year. Um, I like to see stuff for Final Fantasy VII Remake, but Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy XVI seems more logical. Um, I hope we see it soon. Other news. Capcom for the Resident Evil franchise. They apologize for not showing anything in August. They really was trying to, but with stuff going on in the world, um, they had to like, you know, delayed, delayed the information they want to showcase for Resident Evil 8. But uh, they're gonna be at Tokyo Game Show, and uh, Capcom's also got a thing going on. Like I think the 25th, 26th. Uh, correct me down below in comments if you know exactly when they're going to do that. But they have like some kind of special show, Capcom for themselves. So they might showcase something there. Um, speaking of Capcom, uh, there are some speculations and rumors saying that with Moss Hunter World Iceborne, as you see on the screen, they're going to do the final update, which... Believe it or not, it's Fatalis. Fatalis is coming to Iceborne. It's going to be like a giant, big, final boss type feel fight. To send Iceborne off in like, Blaze of Glory. Like, this is the final update. But don't get me wrong, guys. It does, doesn't mean the game's dying. going to be plenty of events and stuff to do. And people that just buy the game, please understand that you're not behind. The game's not dying. It's going to be active for a while. While Capcom, in my opinion, with speculations and stuff going on, is that they're going to be using the Resident Evil engine and modifying it to make the new Monster Hunter game they want to put on the Switch for the Japanese viewer. Um, 
So that's something to look forward to that if it comes true. Uh, these are all like speculations, rumors I have heard. Um, I don't have sources to back it up, so just take everything with a grain of salt, especially on things that are not confirmed. Um, anyways, yeah, Monster Hunter for the Switch, that's what they're going to be working on. And it took about four years to make Monster Hunter World, so we might not see anything for the next, like, Monster Hunter, I'm going to say Monster Hunter 6, or they decide to call it for next gen consoles. It's probably not going to be announced anytime soon. We might get, you know, a teaser trailer in about a year or two, maybe two or three years. Um, but anyways, enough of that Capcom information. Um, another thing is, uh, apparently there was a, somebody posted a Twitter page, uh, not Twitter page, but a photo of them holding a so-called PS5 box. Um, I looked at it. It doesn't, it doesn't look like legit. I mean, it looks like it could, but again, again, take it with a grain of salt. Um, PS5 news, a lot of people still speculating Sept uh, September 9th. Um, I'm not sure. Sony's got seven days, it's about a week. You know, they got a week to actually like say, hey, uh, we're gonna have event wherever at such and such date. They, they always give us a head, ahead of time schedule say hey uh, look forward on this day for our next main event or state of play something so take everything with a grain of salt guys if you read anything on the internet wait until Sony officially announces confessly you know confirms and say hey our next events can be this we're gonna showcase this about the PlayStation 5 and whatnot um, anyways that's I want to say about that. PlayStation 5, I am stoked for it. I want to get it. I have received an email from them saying I could register, which I did. Um, limited. It's lim it's very limited, guys. So don't expect to get a day one PS5. It's going to be hard. Um, in my opinion, it's probably going to be about as hard as finding a Switch nowadays in stores. So keep that in mind if you want to get a PlayStation 5. Um, if you do get an email from them, like I spoke earlier in a recent video um, register with your PlayStation Network ID and hey if you live in the United States and have a US address if they email you say hey uh, you're qualified to pre-order pre it early hey cool if not then try a different retail store or you know if you don't want day one that's fine I would just wait I want to try to get it day one I'm excited for it but way things are going, I don't know. I just play it by ear. But anyways, what else was I say? Um, okay, next subject is gonna be about, oh, Halo. Oh yeah, another thing, Halo, um, Infinite. Apparently they hired a, I forgot, I don't, I don't really know the guy, but apparently he's a Halo expert. He worked on, I guess he worked on Halo or, with someone in the, in the franchise and uh, apparently everybody said all oh, Halo saved and and all that so you know take away grain of salt we'll have to see it definitely needs to be worked on like I said in the previous videos you know way, way back but uh I hope I hope it turns out well and uh you know what uh, I hope everything does you know I just I hope Microsoft has some games that really excite fans that you know, they want to buy an Xbox Series X and have Game Pass. And I hope PlayStation 5 will be successful as well. Um, there is rumors going around for the Nintendo Switch, Nintendo franchise, that they're making, they're working on a Nintendo Switch Pro. That could be next gen, they're talking about 4K quality games and stuff like that. I, I'm not sure, guys. Uh, tell you what a grain of salt. Please don't, like I said, read anything, hear anything from on the internet please take away a grain of salt until you get official word from Sony Microsoft Nintendo about anything they go on but it's awesome to speculate and to me I think it's just gonna be like an updated like version of the switch um, just to say here now now our games can play at 1080p I said just like 720 and whatnot um, that's my that's my intuition um, 
with that said, I think I covered majority of the news. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, if I miss out on anything, uh, people, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, oh yeah, another thing that just popped up. Uh, haptic feedback. A lot of developers are like giving praise, and they're really, really excited for players to like get used to it, like get comfortable with it, like experience it, and uh, it's like it's gonna make us more immersed in the games and stuff for like that. Like, I I know I explained this in a video before. Um, I just want to thank you guys for you know supporting the channel. If you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe. Comment down below of everything I talk about. Are you excited for any of these things? Um, what kind of rumors and stuff have you guys heard? Uh, please comment down below. We can talk about it. Um, like I said, hit the bell notification. So you can be notified when I upload again. Hopefully I can upload more. And maybe do some gameplay videos. But uh, I'll keep you guys in... I'll keep you guys uh, informed on that. With that said, I know this is kind of... One of those videos I just rushed to it and just talk about it like with my mind and heart and soul but I just want to get this video out there to let you guys know that uh everything's going on what I heard um there's also rumors about Silent Hill it could be showcased this month who knows you know it's been going around for a long time um there's also rumors and speculations that uh, Project Athia could be Final Fantasy 16 in disguise. Um, who knows? Like, just take everything with grain of salt. It's exciting. Um, I think, I think personally that that Project Athia could be a Final Fantasy game. That's one of my bold predictions. And uh, I truly think what I said about all uh, Final Fantasy 16. I truly think that it's going to be showcased at Tokyo Game Show. Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2 could. I'm not saying it can't. But Square Enix loves showing off trailers way before the game's even ready. Before they're like even done with it. So, hey, you never know. They could show off Final Fantasy 16 and Final Fantasy VII Remake to Part 2. So, anyways, I just want to close off with that. You guys have a wonderful day, wonderful night. Keep on keeping on. I will catch you all in the ne next one. Please, please take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Be nice to each other. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.